Come, have a seat by the fire. This is no night to be wandering these woods alone. You see, this is a special night, one rarely seen. Let me tell you a story to make the hours pass. One not many know of, and even fewer believe to be real. What do you see in this piece of stone? Yes, it is small, not much to look at, and to most, not of any particular use. Yet it is not of irrelevance to the story that I am about to share with you. You see, every 100 years or so, a strange event occurred. As the days grow short and the nights long, a night darker than others ensues. It is said that when the moon leaves the sky, as darkness envelops the land and the stars awaken, you can hear the sounds of being rarely seen. And if one lingers in the dark shadows waiting for sight to return, things that any other night would seem to be one thing, appear to be another. It was during a night like this that a small, in the scope of the world, insignificant creature with no name was born. What is this place? The insignificant creature without a name wondered as it emerged from the ground and began to explore the dark world. What was I doing below those stones? The creature wondered, standing next to the hole just crawled out of. The stones were too heavy for the small creature to move. In the middle of the clearing there was a mound of stones that seemed to have concealed something. Stuck between the stones were two branches tied together to form a cross. The small creature carefully picked up the bowl along with the dried flowers. Hmm, no, no, that's not how it happened. What a beautiful place! The small insignificant creature thought to itself, admiring the reflected glow of the stars. The creature tried to collect some of the cold water, but was unable to keep the elusive liquid in its hands. There was a small spring in the clearing reflecting the night sky. In the middle of the spring you could see the reflection of a large star. Something about this star seemed different from... At 
the edge of the woods, there was another circle of mushrooms, seemingly too small to dance in. Some believe that certain alv circles hold the power to transport alvor and people alike across vast distances. Their crops would start growing. The field looked to have been sown quite a while ago, yet nothing had begun to grow. The dry soil crumbled as the small creature tried to pick it up. Someone would leave this here, although it does look a bit heavy. The small. On the ground, there was an old grinding stone, partially buried in the. The small creature barely managed to pick up the heavy. Do I look like this on the inside? The small creature one. In the circle laid a pile. The creature searched the ground for anything useful. Amongst the shattered bones, one piece seemed to be sharper than the others. something else that I can use. Hello? The small creature said politely. Who are you? The guard stomped and looked at the creature. I'm the one who looks after this place. No simple task, mind you. The master of the farm hasn't been tending to the land enough this season, so I have to make up for his stupidity by working myself to the bone. The guard stomped and muttered in a stern yet slightly proud voice. You're a small one, aren't you? I haven't seen something like you before. Where did you come from? The small creature looked at the guard stomped. I'm not sure. I remember waking up beneath a stone mound, and as I crawled out, the first thing I saw was the stars. Do you know why I'm here? The 
small creature asked. I see. Beneath the old stone mound. The guard stopped appeared to remember something, becoming quiet for a moment before continuing. No, I'm afraid I don't know why you were born into this place, little one. Nor do I think there is truly a place for you here at the farm. You should look for a place of your own elsewhere. The small creature hung in. Don't fret, little one. You'll find your place in this world, I'm sure of it. This farm has simply never been that place. I think I could break it off, the small creature said. The tool doesn't look to be of much use to the farmer anymore. The top part of the shaft had been broken and was barely attached to the rest of the tool. Now, un as the small creature touched it, the top part of the shaft easily came off. why they were left here. Didn't the farmer need them anymore? The small... A pair of wooden cartwheels had been partially buried in mud over the years. The cartwheels were buried... something of use in it. The small creature thought, its eyes glistening with anticipation. In the remains of the old crate, the small creature found a ball of yarn. an old kettle cup. This looks useful, the small creature said to itself. I wonder if I could take it. The small creature tried to... Should be careful not to touch the pointy end. A sewing needle had been stuck into an old rug, slightly reflecting the light coming from the sea. The small creature picked up the sewing needle with care, making sure not to hurt itself. Who are you to enter my home when invited? 
If you came to steal, know that a meager creature like you would be no match for me. In the dark corner sat an old hustumpt, staring at the creature. Please forgive me, the small creature responded anxiously. I didn't mean to disturb you. I was simply curious about this place. I'm lost, you see. The hustumpt looked at the creature for quite a while before breaking the silence. Well, you certainly don't look capable enough to be the thieving kind, he muttered to himself. But if I find that you conspired with him to steal my hat, you will be sorry you revealed yourself to me. The hustumpt became quiet for a while, seemingly calming down. Although perhaps I could be persuaded to part with a couple of my belongings in return for something to calm my hunger. After all, most of these items have been gathering dust down here for as long as I can remember. But don't bring me anything fancy. I don't like brown nosing. Anything that will take care of my growling stomach will do. hung the water-filled kettle above the fireplace. The small creature carefully removed Sure didn't hurry now, did you? The hustumped muttered. Were you planning on letting me wait all night after I let you take my belongings? The small creature looked meekly at the floor. Well, no matter. This will stave off the hunger. The hustumped brought a spoon out from under his thick beard and began to eat. Since you've already helped yourself to some of my objects, I hardly think a reward should be necessary. The small creature hung its head as the hustump put another spoonful into his mouth. Fine. Here. I borrowed this from the wretched one. I have no use for it, so you might as well take it. Now go away. As the hustump filled the spoon once more, a long strand of thick silver hair came off and landed on the ground in front of the small creature, who saw no harm in picking it up. Hmm. Hey, 
Is that what I think it is? The guard stomped exclaimed as the small creature approached him. Is that my whetstone? Where did you find it? I don't even remember the last time I saw it. The guard stomped let out a sigh of relief. Thank you for finding it for me, little one. My old worn-down tools have been the only thing standing in the way of me bringing this farm back on its feet. The guard stomped rummaged around inside the shed. I'm afraid I can't find much of a reward for you. This old hammer shaft is of good quality, but I seem to have misplaced the metal head. I can't understand how I managed to lose these things. The guard stomp scratched his forehead as he handed the hammer shaft to the small creature. Perhaps you can find a use for it, little one. I'm sorry I can't offer you a better reward. enough to replace the cloth? The small creature asked as he presented the hay to the guard stomped. Hey, well I suppose I could use that instead. I only found this piece of cloth the other night while keeping an eye on the field, but it's already becoming too dirty to wipe my feet on. The guard stomped responded as he handed the dirty piece of cloth to the small creature. Maybe you can find some other use for it. Thief. The hush stumped put the hat on his head and made a sigh of relief. There, that's how things should be. The hush stumped looked at the small creature. I suppose you want something for this, even though you've already taken my things. The hush stumped said grumpily as the small creature's eyes seemed to grow a little bigger. Here, I found this hammerhead while I was looking for my hat. It's missing its shaft, so I don't know what use you would have for it. But the difficulty of a task should determine the reward, don't you agree?
using the fishing rod it just made, the small creature was able to reach the large glowing star in the middle of the spring. As the star's glow broke the surface of the water, an old gold bracelet took its place. Thank you. 